here today at the library. Um, we're charging up right now. I'm not sure if I ever put in like my previous videos, but basically we're at the library every day charging up because you know we're we're still homeless, so we don't have anywhere to charge our um, devices and whatnot. This library is really beautiful. It's the Huntington Library, the Central Library, but its chargers are so slow. That's one thing that Las Vegas had that was just a little bit better, but I'm definitely not complaining too much. Ignore my nails, please, because I'm definitely happier out here. My soul is happier. My spirit's happier. My mind is happier. My heart is happier. I'm just happier all over. Um, however, I did want to get on here and record for... Honestly, the sake of recording, because I don't really know what to talk about today. I've had a few moments. I've had, I had it was about maybe an hour long of distress. <laughs> um, like I said, realistically, we don't have a house yet. We don't have jobs yet. We're trying to get on like the homeless program to get a house and to get assistance. Um, we are applying literally to maybe seven to 15 jobs daily. Each of us, my mom, my brother, and myself. Um, I'm not hearing anything back. I applied for Amazon. I was offered to go to their hiring event but I missed it because we were stranded in um, Baker for literally the whole day uh, that my interview was held. I've been trying to um, reschedule that meeting, that interview, and I haven't been able to do it. So, I mean, I'm just gonna keep trying, I guess. But yeah, I mean, I, I got a little discouraged today overwhelmed upset I'm ready for my best life and I had to catch myself because while things are still hard yes I'm allowed to get mad I'm allowed to feel upset discouraged impatient that's what I am that's literally what it is but I also have to remember that I'm still better off than what it could be. We still have our truck. We still get food. We still get gas. Um, you know, we're still together. We haven't went crazy. I still have my dreams. I still know what I want to do. I still know what I'm called to do. And it could be a lot worse. And like I said, I'm happier overall out here. I'm just ready for more of the physical to start um and that's another thing i want to talk about i can't sit here and say that nothing physical has happened because there has been so much literally when we first got out here all that was happening was that we were attracting money like it wasn't a lot it's not enough to get us a place we're actually very low right now but like it was money to get us gas it was money to get us food it was money to pay for parking at the beach you know and it just came to us like that um my health is so much better i'm so thankful for that let me take these off or maybe i should keep them on i'll keep them on um my mother's health is so much better she's able to walk long distances now she doesn't have her asthma problem anymore um, her legs are still swollen, but like they don't hurt her anymore. Uh, her feet are going down, like the swelling of them, they're going down. Um, my brother, he's still having some issues mentally, but he's fighting through it. He really is. So I'm proud of him for that. Um, oh, I've lost, please get off my phone bug. Um, anyways, so yeah, I mean. Uh, I've lost weight. I've lost a total of, I think, 32 or 35 pounds. Um, 
so that is amazing like it's showing all over my clothes are much more loose uh, other people can see that like my legs are smaller my stomach is smaller my arms are small I'm fitting clothes that I couldn't fit for a good five to ten years now so that's that's definitely a blessing I'm thankful for that um, I am reaching out I am networking as best as I can to meet people out here and to get my business going again um, if you're out here in the Orange County or the LA County and you want to meet I mean definitely definitely hit me up let's meet let's you know do a photo shoot let's just talk like whatever it is within you know my circumstances let's do it because I'm ready to meet people I'm ready to make friends and to just live my best life like that's what I'm here to do and I'm doing it to the best of my ability so I feel proud of myself for that but I know that there's so much more to it and I don't want my circumstances of experiencing homelessness to stop me or prevent me from living my full best life you know um i'm on meetup i'm on bumble so i mean honestly like if you want to meet up or whatever just hit me up we could talk we could discuss things i'm actually looking for a mentor as well to help me as far as blogging while i'm homeless because vlogging yeah i'm doing that I'm getting videos, I'm getting pictures and whatnot, but my website is so dead right now, and that's because I just don't have inspiration. Like, I don't know what to talk about because I'm so used to relaying, like, lifestyle things and beauty products and, you know, reviewing things and unboxing things. Um, I do have my FabFitFun that I got. I have pictures of that so I'll be doing that post soon but it's like I, I still want to stay active and I don't want to just rely on that you know so I'm trying to figure that out trying to get back on the ro uh, on the road with that and um, yeah I mean that's pretty much it for today um, if there's any more, I will record again later and add it to this video. But for now, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. I know this video is vertical. I hope that doesn't bother you too much. If it does, let me know and I'll just go back to horizontal. Um, yeah. Have a good day, guys. God bless you. Bye. It works. Aggressively works. Exactly. You're not. Personally, yet, I don't see a difference. Not, not physically. Yeah, of course. I'm not happy. I don't either. I'm not happy with it. It's, it's really pissing me off badly. See, the thing is, I need to be around people with my exact mindset. Yes, you do. Who find a lot of this shit in life bullshit. I can't keep being like, you know, I'm, I'm not that kind of person. I can't do this. Just stay, stay calm, calm, collected, and just pull out Bible verses everywhere. No. I, I need someone to be like, no, man. Yeah. But you also need people who are going to motivate you when you get in that mindset. I get that. Like, I just want someone to say it with me. Like, this is fucking stupid. How the industry is. I say it, because it is. Yeah, but you're not in it, though. That's a thing. Yeah. Very true. Very true. Yeah, you're an influencer, you're a blogger. So that's how I'm not in that field. But when I tell you music industry is on a whole different level, I'm serious. Not just because it's mine. Oh, I know. Like, you even acting like this, man. It's not. No, he is not the tailor. It is really not.